Whereas other people in my past made me feel jealous. And I was, you could say, a jealous person. When I got with him, he, he disarmed jealousy. Welcome back. With me now are the authors of the new book, Old School Love and Why It Works, Rev Run and Justine Simmons. How are you guys? Very happy to be Applauses here. Applause is all around. You both look fantastic. I'm excited to read your book. Thank now, you. both of you attended the Grammys last weekend. Have you both recovered from all the craziness? No. No, we haven't. Hung over? What's... Just, uh, we, we tired because we our flight got delayed to get home. Oh, no. We got home around... Four, four in the morning. And I had to do makeup at four thirty. And then she had to go be on different television shows, yeah. and we've just been running ever since. How was all the Kobe tributes that you guys saw? All the love pouring. I out mean, the love just poured. It, it was um, ironic that we were all in the Staples Center where he always played, right? And doing something that he loves, which is music. So it's almost like a celebration yeah. of Kobe Bryant. It was done very, very well. Yeah. I think yeah. it was the house that Kobe built, as they always exactly. say. Exactly. So it was kind of like. It was a little like surreal. God, right, exactly. yeah. As a mother, I'm curious, you know, how, how did it affect you and how devastating was the news to hear? You know, all I can do is think of Vanessa, the, his wife, and just pray for her and strength and try not to dwell about it happening to well, me. Yes, she, yes. You know, so... She, don't, she doesn't but, want to keep her seat, feet in those shoes because it makes her sad. Yeah, but and praying just for praying her for her constantly. You can't help but keep thinking of her and the kids constantly. Yeah, of course. It's a tragedy all around and all the other families on board as well. Exactly. Well, Rev, you returned to the Grammys to perform with Aerosmith. I what was? was it like teaming up with them again? It was cool. I mean, Stephen is really fun and Joe and we, we did a little, Rocked out. little rehearsal and then we just started screaming at each other. Like, you see, look, I'm screaming at Stephen. <laughs> Same outfit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you kept going. You're just I in landed, the Grammy mood. I but... landed it and kept it on. Yeah, it's smart. <laughs> Justine, did you enjoy watching him perform? Do you critique Reb's performance ever? I do. That's why a lot of times I don't go because I'm too intense instead of just enjoying it. I got to, you know, look and make sure everything's on point. Yeah, it's too much. But... I really had a good time this time. I really enjoyed myself jumping out. My kids were there. All of our kids except Vanessa was there. There's and Miley. It was amazing. Did Rev style you for the Grammys? No. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, wow. She said no first. Yeah, she, but then I had forgot. to think. I had <laughs> to forgot. think. She had about he was the 10 main outfits and I person one. to say nay or yay. Yep, so, so I'm the stylist. Yeah. And you do, do you style her for all the all award shows? All the time. Well, she do you picks a like bunch of... that? I'm getting a sense that you don't like because that. Because sometimes I'm yeah. like... She likes it. I like this. She likes it. No, she likes you know it. what I have to say? Keep it real. This is like old school love outcome. right here. Yeah, I love the outcome, but at the time, sometimes... You don't like the process. Annoying. Yeah, sometimes it's annoying. Because yeah, yeah. he knows, like, look... right off with me, I got. I want to look a little yeah, I'm like, in the no, mirror this is and it. see. No need to look he knows further. right away, and maybe I'm a little... Yeah, she Maybe was that fun. Like that. Hey, it's a testament to how well you guys know each other. Yes. Now, Rev, how did this Grammy opportunity come about? How did you first hear about it? Got a call from Meryl Smith and said, um, let's do Walk This Way together at the Grammys. I said, okay. No hesitation on your part whatsoever. Boom. I mean, what are you going to do? It's the Grammys. Yeah, right. And we had that record, that iconic Walk This Way collaboration. I was like, I'm in. It's a great song. It's an absolute It's an absolute smash. Well, let's talk about your book. It's so heartfelt, so honest. Even watching you guys here, I love the banter. What inspired you to write your love story about your relationship? A lot of people on his Instagram asking him, because if you go to his Instagram, he has positive messages on there, but it's also about him and I. Yeah. A lot and of it. so a lot of people are like, please, you guys need to write a book for years. And if we see people in the street, They'll either ask us And then us we had some advice. time, so we did it. Yeah. How long did it take to write the whole thing? Six, about six months. You think so? Yeah. Okay, so she knows the time period. Who got the final editorial decision? Like, if you Both wanted to write something, was Rev like, nah, or you got the I kind of was six. pushing her. Remember at the end when they kept going back and forth, we read it together? Yeah. And then she had about a few changes, just, just um, things that were accuracy changes. Yeah. She's right. keeping you honest. She's keeping yeah, you on point. Exactly. I like that. Well, the book reads as if you're having a conversation with the reader and sometimes with each other. Was this intentional? Did you want to, like, yes. break yes. the fourth wall, if you will? Yes. Yeah. We wanted to be very candid. We wanted it to be very, um, pull you into our world. If, you know, you saw Run's House, you saw the reality shows, but you need to know some things that were going on behind the 
camera per se, mm -hmm. and we gave it to you raw. Right, and we also wanted takeaways so that you, you can know, understand if you're how going, we got through it. If you're going through, if you're getting ready to get married, or if you are in a marriage, we want to give you little takeaways so that you can Take it hopefully, away. yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully use it. You know. You know, I mean, listen, you guys both live your life in the public eye, but how hard was it? to be that vulnerable in a book. Not at all. Really? No. The television show wasn't hard, the book's not hard, because we know we're his servants. We, we were giving you our life for the TV show for you to enjoy, and we're giving you the book for you to, to learn and to, to be inspired, so we're here for that. And everything is, was real. You know, a lot of people, it's funny, a lot of people say, you know, they were too Brady Bunchy or something like that, but they don't realize our kids were little, so it wasn't a whole lot they were doing. Yeah, you know? yeah right, like a, exactly. A raunchy, exactly. It wasn't a raunchy TV yeah, show. It was yeah. And we showed you family. what we really did. We really did have family meetings. You know, we All really were together a lot. You know, we didn't show we didn't show you, you know, us going to church or anything. But and you knew that, I was the Rev. Exactly. We know he's the Rev. We know he's the Well, rev. they're happy, funny, sad stories that tell us about how you've both uh, managed it all. I want to start from the beginning. You both met at a Curtis Blow show, if I'm, yeah. if I'm correct, yeah. where our Rev was DJing. Would either of you describe that moment as love at first sight? Describe that first meeting for I, me. I, I wouldn't say, you know, well, for me, I probably wouldn't. Maybe not him, but <laughs> I think I was like, I think I was in so love, I think. Really? Well, I th yeah. I don't know why, though. Like, because wow. I just met him. <laughs> I didn't meet him, meet him. Like, he was on a stage, and it was all about Curtis Blow. He was just the son of Curtis Blow. That was my name at the time, so Run DMC. Oh, son of Curtis Blow. DJ Run, yep, that was my name at that time. I didn't have any records out. I was working with Curtis Blow and rapping along with him. I was only 15, and she was 15 or 14. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, 16 and 15, and then and we exchanged numbers, and that was that. You guys hit it off from the start. I mean, you both just found each other attractive. Like, what was it? Yes, well, I found each other him really yeah, same. She was cute, and she thought I was cute, and we took he each other's me. numbers. Yeah, called her. She lived in Long Island. I lived in Queens, so we spoke for a couple of months, and then we had to drift. We did the movies. We went to, we went to the movies. movies once at, as kids, and then you know, it was from Long Island to, to Queens. Is like a million miles away when you don't when you don't drive and you're a kid. Yeah. Yes. So, it's like a world away. Right. Yeah. So we we kind of went our own ways and then we met back up later and got married. What movie did you guys see? I don't know. I have no idea. We were kissing. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. That's how you keep the marriage alive. I see that. <laughs> well, Justine, Rev wrote you a letter that read, "I will marry you one day," yeah. but you lost touch for a few years. Did you think it would still happen after all that time? No. no nope. We thought it was a wrap. I didn't, and I didn't even I didn't. know he was run. Yet, because somebody saw some pictures I had, and they were like, "You know, you know who that is?" I said, "Yeah, his name is Joe. I used to go out with him." And they were like, "No, this is Run from Run DMC." And I was like, "Wow, I didn't know that." And then years later, we connected. We connected. How did you guys reconnect? My my cousin was at uh, a security guard at her sister's school in Long Island, and he was bragging, "My cousin is Run," and her sister said, "So what? My sister used to date Run." And then he got her phone number, and then I called, and we reconnected. Oh, that's that's fate, and that, that is aligned in the stars for you Thank guys. You. I mean, that's that's pretty I incredible. That. Rev, in the book, you wrote about the moment in the presidential suite um, that helped you realize you needed God. Is there something you still carry from that time period? Yeah, well, you know, being at the level of uh, success and, and stardom that was going on, I just know that you know, life you have to take it in increments you know I was at that time it's like more 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 how can I get more money how can I make sell more records how can extremely overly competitive and I learned that you have to cruise or you you run into a wall thinking <laughs> yeah okay. oh, oh I like I Charles like Barkley this. said you know he would talk about this big record that he had crazy I, yeah. yeah and he said you know that's a shooting star and and you can't expect a lot of those, but when, you, when you're when a kid like me, I'm thinking, I'm gonna make a hundred of these. I'm gonna keep making hits, not knowing that, like he said, like that was a blessing, some of those hit records. They don't just, you know, have over and over and over again. But um, that's what I learned, that you can't just say you're gonna take over the world and you can't just keep pushing and pushing and thinking, you know, 
the sky's the limit without having a little bit of cruise time, a little gratefulness time. Mm. Has she, has Justine always been sort of your your rock, someone who like who's humbled you maybe throughout all the fans loving you and your fame? Like is she kind of? Uh, she's been, you know, on these TV shows with me recently, Run's House and everything, so she's kind of with me in it at this point. Yeah, I but, wasn't uh, with him during like the whole. All the Run DMC. All the Run DMC. Right. Well, the end, like yeah. down with the yeah. king I yeah. was. And by then he was so dedicated and, and Ready church. to be married and yeah. stuff. Wow.